Hello friends, welcome back to another video. If you're new and not subscribed, I'm Kayla Baim and you should really think about subscribing to my channel because the bestest, most greatest things in the world happen when you do that. So, subscribe. For today's video, I know I said I was never going to do it again, but here's a little secret. I had so much fun doing it the first time that I had to do it again. So, if you don't know what I'm talking about, it's paint pouring, okay? The last time I did paint pouring, I said, I'm not gonna do paint pouring ever again because it was so messy and I don't like making a mess. But it was actually really fun. Paint pouring was super fun. I just hated the mess. And then I was having issues because it was my first time paint pouring and then everybody in the comments was giving me tips and tricks and stuff. So, I thought, okay, I'll do another paint pouring video, but because I always wonder about so much stuff when it comes to art, I was doing one of my glass paintings and I was like, can I paint pour on glass? The answer is yes, you can paint pour on glass, people have done this before, but I wanted to try mixing the reverse glass painting with the paint pouring and then mash it together and see what it gave me. So, here is my glass, reverse glass paint pouring video. Okay, party people, for this glass paint pouring thing that I'm doing, I am using one of these glass pane, almost shadow box things that I got from the Dollar Tree. And as you can see here, these are not my hands. These are KB Creations hands. We were going to try and take the glass out of the black frame that it was in for some reason and I could not do it. So I asked my mom for help. She got this razor blade and was trying to get it out. It was a mess and it didn't work. We ended up breaking the glass again, just like the piggy bank. So I decided I would just leave it in the black frame and I am using nail polish remover, 100% acetone, because this stuff works really great for scraping off decals on everything. If you don't have any nail polish remover, I believe rubbing alcohol works as well. So whatever one you wanna use, use it, but you definitely are gonna need a razor blade to scrape this stuff up. So now it's time for the paint pouring. For the first color, I am using Jet Black. And in the last paint pouring video, you guys gave me a lot of tips and tricks. So, it should be better this time, okay? Then for the second color, I used Blue Violet. My third color was lavender, and if you couldn't figure it out, yes, I'm doing the galaxy colors for this one because these colors are so cool. And then for the last color, I am using white. So, one of the tips that you guys gave me was to do multiple layers between the colors, so not just do like black, purple, lavender, white, and be done just to keep layering it so all the colors come through. So like black, blue, violet, purple, white, a little bit more black, some more white, just to con continue layering it so all of those layers and colors will come through. Here are all my colors. I will say for this first one, I messed up massively by trying to do the flip cup technique here and not just because about that, you're right, okay? It's not just because of the mess. It Something happened with the cup laying on the glass and it didn't look very good. So flip cup technique did not work. But I will also say this, these things were great for paint pouring because the edges stopped it from spilling out. So I wasn't making a huge mess besides the blob right there. And on the glass, it was like super easy to spread around. It was great. So, because I messed up the first time around, I wanted to try another one. This time, I am using the color True Blue as the first color because it was the darkest one. 
Then my second color was aquamarine. My third color was beige. And then for the last color, I used white again. And I am using the same shadow box thing that I got from the Dollar Tree. However, this time I wanted to see what would happen if I left the decals on the glass to see if the paint would kind of overpower the black lettering or if it would be a cool background. So here's my cup ready for action, okay? This time I also decided to pour the paint on like a normal person not do the flip cup technique and these colors are so cool together i didn't do the same packs that i got from michael's it's the same paint but i didn't do their color schemes i just kind of came up with my own for this one and yeah i think these shadow box things are so much fun to paint pour on because it's not making a huge mess which was the issue I had originally when I was paint pouring on the canvas. So these glass things, so good. The paint spreads so easily. I had so much more fun paint pouring in this, this video than I did the last video. And then for the heck of it, I wanted to try out some Craftsmart paint. So the first color that I'm using here is black. And I'm going to be replicating all the colors from the first galaxy thing that I did with the purples and stuff. And I want to compare the deco art paint with the Craftsmart paint to see if there really is a huge difference. Then I used Dark Blue by Craftsmart. I didn't have a blue violet, so I figured Dark Blue would work the same, okay? It's close enough. The third color was Lavender by Craftsmart. And lastly, some white. And already, just from pouring the paint, yeah, there is a massive difference between the Craftsmart paint and the DecoArt Fluid Art paint. Obviously, because when you're paint pouring, the paint is thinner. Craftsmart paint was super thick and clumpy, and it was not at all anywhere close to being the same consistency as the deco art paint. And because this paint was so thick, oh man, I had the hardest time spreading the paint out on this glass pane. And everything I did was the same with the deco art paint that I did with the Craftsmart paint. I layered it the same way. I started off with the darker color first. I used the same glass, everything. And see, it is spreading here. Like you can see, it has the ability to spread out on the glass. But I think with a thicker paint like this, it doesn't cover as much ground, I guess you can say because it's so thick. Like the Fluid Art Deco Art paint didn't need very much paint at all and it covered the whole glass pane. With a regular Craftsmart acrylic paint, I definitely needed more because I ended up not even covering the whole glass pane. And this glass was, I think, five by five inches, so it wasn't even that big. So now it's time for the final reveals. This was the galaxy one, the very first one that I did that I definitely messed up when I did the flip cup thing because as you can see, that ring there was from the cup sitting down on the glass. So that definitely is not the technique for this stuff. Then this one that I poured like a normal person and left the decals on has to be my favorite one hands down. This one looks so cute with the decals and the colors are light enough so it's not overwhelming it. It's just so cute. And then the Craftsmart one. Oh man, this thing is ugly. It wasn't as shiny as the DecoArt one and when I flipped it around, it just looked horrendous. It was so bad. Overall, 
I think these came out super cute and I think that if you're gonna paint pour on glass these little shadow box things are the way to do it because there's no mess and it's super cool all right that is it for today's video if you liked it be sure to give it a thumbs up and leave in the comments down below what you thought of my little glass paint pouring creations I thought some of them came out cool once I kind of figured it out <laughs> and I also like how with these little frame shadow box things I don't think it's a shadow box it's just a cool glass frame that the Dollar Tree carries sometimes it didn't make as big of a mess except when I spilt the cup over the edge but that was completely my fault but it wasn't as big of a mess because the borders were raised so all the paint just stayed inside the little frame so it was so much fun I really love this stuff okay <laughs> but I'll see you guys back here next time. Peace.